In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to make a simple interior scene using V-ray rectangle and spherical lights. So in this simple scene we're going to use only artificial light, in particular the plain light and the sphere light. And we're going to start with this wall fixture. Okay, so we select the light and in the top view we're going to place a V-ray plane. So go to lights, V-ray, V-ray light, click and drag inside, go to left view and position in the middle. All right. In the modify panel, we're going to tweak some of the parameter of our light. So first of all, we're going to change the intensity. Under the intensity, we can choose different kind of units for our light. I usually prefer to use this lumens power for this kind of um, spotlights. So you can then enter um, a real scale of uh, intensity for our light. So if we look at a um, regular light bulb, you can see that um, like 100 watts light bulb is 1600 lm lumens power. So I'm going to use this as, as my reference for the light. So in the multiplier I'm going to enter the, the same number for the intensity and for the colorization of the light I'm going to use the temperature mode and reduce it to something like 3000 and get this orangey color. Next thing we're going to position our camera in the scene so in the top view I'll go to cameras V-ray physical camera C to go to the camera view and let's find nice frame that's okay and we're not going to change any of the parameters yet I'm going to make a test render So obviously our frame is too too dark, so we need to tweak to change the camera exposure. So I'm going to change some of the exposure parameter. Let's reduce the shutter speed to something like 20. And let's test only the light area. Okay, that's a bit better, but not enough. Let's change the F number to something like 4. Okay, that's better, but I think we can do a little bit more. As you can see, I'm trying to not overexpose this area. So let's increase the film speed to 200 okay I think that's okay I'm going to duplicate the light just check the lights grab it and duplicate as an instance let's check the position all right. Now let's say we want the light to cast for the other uh, direction. We can do it easily by going to modify and check the double sided. Next we're going to create two spotlights right in the center. So again 
in the top view let's create a V-ray light plain light and go to modify again let's make it 3x3 three three. position it very close to the ceiling and in here we're going to change let's leave the intensity as it is for now the color maybe make it less um, orangey so like 4000 let's uncheck the double sided so it only casts downwards and in order to make it like a spotlight we need to in the rectangle light option we have directional option so in the preview instead of navel let's select this one and change this parameter as you can see we have a sort of a cone that represents the direction of the light so as close as you get to one you see the beam is very very narrow until it's like one stripe so we're going to put it somewhere like 0.8 okay like this and let's see the effect okay so we can easily create the illusion of a spotlight using a simple rectangle light but notice that as more as the light is concentrated the intensity is concentrated as well so we get these burned like areas if let's say I reduce the cone size and render again the light is much much weaker bring it back to 8 and reduce the intensity multiplier to something like 600 okay this is a bit high so let's make it 450 that seemed to be right so now we're going to copy this slide again as an instance okay we've created our four lights four main lights but as you can see the image is too dark close to the camera and uh, the overall image is not too equalized so let's fix it by um, again a plain light but now we're going to put a very big one let's go to very very light click and drag something like this and position it very close to the ceiling go to modify first off I want to disable the directional so let's select never and put it to the zero okay so we have a nice um, even spread now let's change the the units to default let's set it to about um, 15 for now and for the temperature I want to go for something a bit cooler 
something like very light bluish color. So right from the start we can see that our light is too bright. Let's reduce it. One thing to notice is that when we're using the default image or the luminance, it depends on the size. If let's say I make this one, this uh, size smaller, like 30 by 30, and without changing the multiplier, you can see that the light is much lower. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back to the original size and let's reduce our multiplier. Okay, that's still a bit too much. Let's put it to maybe two. And maybe one. Notice that our big uh, plane light is, you can see it on the reflection of this um, sphere. Now in this case we might do not want this um, to be present. So in order to remove it from our uh, reflection, we need to go to the options section and tick down the ref effect reflection and specular. All right, that looks good. Our last light is going to be this um, flow right on the left. For this one, I'm going to use a simple spheric, uh, very spherical light. Let's position the light in the center. Go to front view. Okay, in the modify panel, let's change the radius to 3, like a regular light bulb, and position it in the right place. Okay, change the temperature to something uh, hotter Oops. okay and take the effect specular and effect reflections In the intensity, let's switch back to luminous power and let's make it somewhere like the 60 watts light bulb, so 800. If you want uh, the light to, to be invisible, you just need to Take the, this invisible and let's render. And now we cannot see the exact source of the light. One last parameter to consider when using VR light is the sample in sections. When rendering high quality renders, you need to consider the subdivision section, which controls your uh, shadows quality. So less subdivisions and the shadow become much more grainier and less smooth and the higher you go the quality is going to be much better for the shadows but consider in mind that your render time is going to be much more longer I usually increase to the subdivision to 16 maybe 32 in most cases but you can go even higher